All right, so another day, and I'm gonna do another isolation rig for you guys. Uh, today, I'm gonna to do a light rig, which you could use for gar fish or macro fishing. Uh, you can use it wherever you go. Uh, basically, I've been down fishing sometimes and you see quite a lot of mackerel on the surface, and then um, you use feathers for them. I've seen a lot of people do this and fail really, not catching them. Even though the mackerel are there, for some reason, they ain't taking the feathers, so, uh, what I do then is I go down and I'd use this light rig. So first of all, all you want is to get yourself six feet of a 0.4 diameter rig line. So that's here. Measure that out. Pop it off. So there's, that's going to be your rig body basically and on the end of this I'm going to attach a clip now this rig is light so all my components which I put on there are going to be to suit the rig so this is a very small weight clip Sure, I'll tie that off. Bring the line behind, pinch it, loop, and then back through there five times. This is a knot I use for most of my fishing. Whack it, pull it tight, cut off a tag end. I'm just going to put my weight on there so it makes things easier to work with. There you go. So that is my link at the bottom. So next, I've got some 0.4 diameter rig tubing. Yeah, which I need to cut four pieces of. So one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to put one piece of tube in down first. Followed by a micro bead. Now the best way I find to put these micro beads on is just leave them in the box shake them about a bit and then if you push the end of the line through one in the box and then it'll come out. I don't know if you can see that but it's very very small so that'll be my bead. Next I'm going to put a size 24 swivel on. And then another bead. And then another piece of the tube in. So that there is going to be ready for you to take your bottom slewed. So I'm going to slide it all the way down just to show you how it sets. like so. Now I'm going to do the same again for the top snood. The snoods on this rig are going to be five feet long. So two bingos on first. And a bead. Size 24 swivel. And 
another bead. And my last piece of tube bit. I'm just going to get a swivel to put on the top of the snood. Same knot. Quack it. Put it tight. Cut off the tag end. Right. So we've got our rig body there. Next thing we're going to do glue the swivels into place so as i always do i'll get my glue dip it into the glue with the cocktail stick onto the line with the blob and move the tubing over and i'm going to do the same to the bottom tubing so blob tubing over so there's that top bottom snood done. I'm going to do the same for the top snood. Just slide it up. Blob. Slide it on. There you go. Put the glue to one side. So as you can see, what you're left with Is that okay and the next step we need to do is to tie on your snoods they're both going to be five feet long so it's important to remember when you do this when you've got a five foot snood that your gap between your top swivel and your bottom swivel has to be over five feet otherwise you'll get tangles so what I'm going to use for my snoods when I'm doing this kind of fishing is uh, either 0.18 diameter line or what I've got here is a 0.20 diameter line. So I'm going to pull off five feet of this now. And I'm going to cut that. Next thing I'm going to do is attach it to my swivel. Again, I use the same knot. It's going to be hard for you to see this because this line is very fine. There's your top snood. Remember what I said to make sure that it's shorter. Cut that off. Right. Here's where it gets um, a bit different. So what I do now basically, when I'm fishing for garfish, I either like to use a hard pink pop-up, a white piece of foam, a round white pop-up and again a round oval pop-up so them are my favorite colors for garfish pink and white when it comes to mackerel i prefer to use a red pop-up again these are hard pop-ups and what i can do is slide that onto the line and it will stay in place but if i was to use these pop-ups for instance 
I'd slide it up my snood, but what I would then do is jam a piece of cocktail stick into here. Well, I'll do this one to show you how I would do it. So first of all, I'll just slide the pop-up on to my snood. So again, you can see that will slide back and forth. You want to stop that in the end. So let me tie a hook on. Which is a size seven wormer. So, so, I'm just going to cut that tag end off. Okay, so as I was explaining, this round pop up, if you cast that out as it is, it would slide right up your line. So, what I'm going to do is about an inch or an inch and a half up from the hook, I'm going to get my pop up. Then I'm going to get another cocktail stick and the point of the cocktail stick, I'm just going to push into the pop-up like so. Then I'm going to get my scissors. Cut the cocktail stick off. So then when I push the stick into the pop-up, It'll no longer slide and it'll just sit there so what you want to get is garfish feed in mid water not on the bottom so you need to get this hook length right up in the water so if you go put in a big piece of bait on you know it will be uh, the wrong thing to do because it will stay on the bottom so what I've done I've just cut up two little pieces of mackerel which are the size of which I would use if I put it on my thumbnail for you to see that you can actually see how big it is and all I would do is hook that little piece of mackerel once onto the hook and that's how I would fish it there so this would pop up would be lifted up in the water and the little piece of mackerel would be moving with the water as well so that's how I would go about fishing for garfish now on the bottom, I need to tie another snood. Again, this will be five feet long. Just do it quickly. Right, I'll show you just how one of these hard slide on pop ups work. So, all I would do if this was for macro, for instance, I'd use a red one. Okay, so on the pop up, just pass it through the wire, slide the pop up up, and pull it through. And there you have that pop up ready sits because it got rubber and they won't slide up and down. And I'd just tie my hook length up off on there and use the bait in the same way. So yeah, I hope that's been a useful bit of information for you and it helps you to catch more garfish and mackerel. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe to them and share them. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. Thanks very much.